celebrated internationally, Lada has truly helped to put our city on the map. Born in Bangalore, India, Lada studied Bhadaratatam from the tender age of eight. She studied diligently under a number of master teachers, and at the age of 13, Lada performed her very first solo debut recital. Lada's professional career as a soloist began in 1965, the year after she immigrated to Canada. During the mid-60s, her work was largely traditional. However, when she lived in Indonesia for several years, Lada became interested in cross-cultural collaborations and opened up her choreography to other influences. It was the 60s after all, right? <laughs> Upon her return to Canada in 1979, her solo performances featured Bharatatyam in a traditional form, teamed with an exciting contemporary twist. What makes Lada Pada a truly remarkable individual is not only her incredible gifts as an artist, but who she is as a human being. Her ferocity of spirit saw her through the passing of her husband and two daughters on the tragic Air India 182 flight. How she ever overcame such heartbreak is incomprehensible to me. And I will always be in amazement and in awe at this remarkable human being. Lada not only persevered through this difficult time, but she became a spokesperson for the families of the victims. Her incredible strength is perhaps the soul of her work and the driving force behind her creation as an artist. In 1990, Lada went on to found Sampradaya Dance Creations in Toronto and the Sampradaya Dance Academy right here in Mississauga. Sampradaya Dance Creations presents a range of solo and ensemble choreography in both a classical and contemporary repertoire. Lada received her master's degree in fine arts from York University in 1997, and in December 2008, she was made a member of the Order of Canada for her contributions to the development of Bharatatatyam and as a choreographer, teacher, dancer, and artistic director, as well as for her commitment and support of the Indian community in Canada. Lada is the very first South Asian artist ever to receive this honor. And we are so proud of her, wouldn't you say? So ladies and gentlemen, please join me in celebrating Lada Pada. <laughs> 